Hey guys, today is September 18th and it's a beautiful one here in New Mexico. I am in the Cibola National Forest in the Magdalena Mountain Ranger District area. Started off at the Water Canyon Campground, which is a great little campground if anybody's wanting to go and camp there. It's got 12 uh, primitive sites throughout the area, two vault toilets, there's no power or running water. so. You have to bring a generator or water so that way you could utilize uh, those utilities. But other than that, it's a nice little spot. Not a campground camping fan, so I'm headed up the mountain to go find something a little primitive and more uh, secluded away from all the other people. That's my style of camping. But already uh, on this trail, you know, we hit a sign that as for uh, lights on, which I always operate with lights on, that's just uh, you know good practice to have your lights on when you're riding. Then the other thing is it suggests to lock your hubs and put it in four-wheel drive to climb this road. Now, based on what I've seen, I think that might be a little bit extreme. However, if it's raining or if this road ices up or there's a little bit of some snow on there, yeah, without a doubt, you're definitely going to want to put uh, four-wheel drive on and, you know, make the climb up because this is a very, very steep and narrow uh, climb up. We started off at about 7,000 feet and we'll be heading up to uh, 10,000 feet to find a camp spot. And then from there, I'm probably going to go ahead and hike around. I know the high point up there is uh, closer to 10,700 feet. But it's a beautiful one. Man, look at the views right through there. Yeah, that is gorgeous, man. I love that open country that we have out here in uh, New Mexico. That is just outstanding. Oh, check this out, man. <laughs> look at that. That tree, that's the uh, bottom end. It got uprooted, but I'm wondering if this rock fell off the mountain up there and knock that over it's a dead tree it's bound to come out whether it was rock uh, or strong winds but man <laughs> that would have been a creepy one if you were you know uh, along the side of this road and you know had that fall right in front of you or at least witnessed it I'm pretty sure that was one loud crash yeah I like those peaks got like a little rock uh, cliffside over there then of course the mountain range is back there and then you got the uh, the Magdalena fault which is uh, an earthquake fault I think but man that is beautiful through there gorgeous section got the Magdalena Ridge Observatory up here at the top that's a, a lightning research facility here in New Mexico you know during the uh, stormy times of years which is you know monsoon season and uh, monsoon season still on it's actually coming close to an end but you know they come up here and test the strength of lightning and and do all that cool work uh, just to see how strong thunderstorms develop so pretty awesome to know that that takes place in this mountain range but man, what a beauty. Kind of on a little bit of a shelf road that just kind of, you know, follows, I'm assuming maybe a contour line and it just goes all the way up to the top. But I love this feel because every time you turn a corner, man, you're, you're just greeted with the beauty of this Cibola National Forest. Absolutely amazing.
Man, this is a really steep road. I'll tell you that. It just keeps uh, winding its way up. And man, uh, the views are just insane, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Love this kind of terrain like this. Tell you what, with these sheer drop-offs and how vertical this trail is, it's it's easy to feel vertigo. Look, check this out. There's a look down on some of the switchbacks I've come up. Absolutely steep, and now I can see different parts of uh, the mountain terrain or uh, beyond the the peaks out there. I'm looking far off into eastern New Mexico and. Here's a glimpse off looking north. Some more mountain peaks out that way. Spectacular, man. All right, guys, I think I found my camp spot for the night. This is kind of tucked in, off the road a little ways. guys I found a beautiful camp spot up here at 10,100 feet along that ridge line that you see right behind me that's where the research facility is I'm gonna take a trip up there and have a look and see what it looks like from up there but it's clouding up along the uh, peak up there and it's starting to come in from the west and slowly the view from the east is disappearing it's kind of a drag I did not bring my rain suit in fact I didn't anticipate a rainstorm happening but when you're at 10,000 feet weather just changes rapidly I mean I got here it was sunny and just like that BAM weather changed and it's getting nice and cool up here feels good but yeah, I'm gonna get a campfire ring uh, rebuilt there was one uh, that was here get some firewood set my tent up and then yeah let's just break in this evening it's beautiful up here guys later on I'm gonna cook up some steak fajitas and a cast iron over a campfire then tomorrow i'm gonna drink some coffee that was sent from a viewer from costa rica so stick around guys more to come all right guys let's have a cruise up to the fence line up there and take a short little hike up and have a look from the summit up there. What an incredible evening. Couldn't ask for a better night, I'll tell you that. But yeah, we've uh, climbed up. There's North Baldy Trail. The summit's right up there. And look at this gorgeous view down into this basin. Absolutely phenomenal. Got a bunch of rock slides that are out there. Wow. Man, I should have brought a windbreaker. Cause that sun's going down, it's getting chilly. <laughs> Even got the nose running, man. Wow. It is fresh. So from here, it's a, it's a foot walk, but good stuff, man. Let's go do it. I'm going to go ahead and have a little hike around this research facility center. You know, there's a point up here at 10,783 feet. I am 
pretty high in elevation so my breathing is a little bit labored just because of the uh, lack of oxygen up here incredible country here's the saddle up here and now we're looking off west into the San Augustine Plains great panoramic views up here I'm about to summit up here at South Baldy Peak, 10,783 feet. Now I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I was a little bit freaked out to be up here. Everything is literally metal. I am standing on metal. Again, this is a atmospheric research facility. I have no idea what they're doing with this much metal being on the ground. There's little posts standing up. It's starting to sprinkle. I don't know if there's a thunderstorm on the horizon, but I'm not gonna stay up here long. I'm gonna get down, man. It is a little bit intimidating, I'll tell you that. Although my time was limited up there, I didn't let that get in the way of enjoying my hike to the summit and the views I had along the way. The valley floor and the nearby mountain range were awesome to observe. On my ride back to camp, I reflected on how beautiful this mountain range is and how I had the best camp spot for the evening. It wasn't before long that I built a campfire and shortly thereafter enjoyed the company of a small herd of deer up on a nearby ridge. What more could I ask for? It was the perfect evening. Alright guys, steak fajitas for dinner. They are cooking awesome. Have a look at that. Yeah. That looks good. Oh yeah, those are done. Nice and caramelized. Time to eat. Got some tortillas and cheese and that's all I need, man. There is the finished product, steak fajita with cheese, peppers, onion, and jalapeno. That's going to be awesome, man. Man, these steak fajitas are absolutely delicious. I've already ate a couple off camera, and this is the last one, and man, it is awesome. That jalapeno has a little bit of a spice, but it's not too bad. It actually works well with the flavor of the meat that I had marinated for about two or three hours in a fajita marinade. And then of course the onion and bell pepper, it's just loaded with flavor and it's delicious. There's a little bit of a full moon that keeps trying to come through. Of course the cloud cover is hiding its face, but man, if that cloud cover goes away and the moon decides to come out, it's going to be bright up here very bright because there's nothing that's going to block that light from penetrating 
the ground. There's no tree cover up here for the most part. It's all one big meadow. It's awesome. Good morning guys it's just past 6 45 sun is making its way up and you know there's still clouds but that mountainside whenever that sun peeks through the clouds it just lights up and it's beautiful the way it's just touching all the trees there's aspen up there there's conifers up there and it's just beautiful to see that reflection of light from the sun My wife made these awesome burritos before I left. They're egg and carne adovada. Carne adovada is pork meat marinated in chili. And so that's going to taste good. I'm just going to reheat it over the uh, stove here. Looking forward to that. All right, guys. Coffee is ready. I've had a cup of this coffee at home, but I have not had one in the mountains. So good morning and cheers. Mmm. That is such a delicious cup of coffee. Seriously, it's it's nutty. It's kind of got like a chocolatey taste to it, but it's definitely more nutty than anything else. But the acidic level's perfect. The body on this coffee is smooth. It's well-rounded. Thank you, Chris and Brenda, for shipping this. I really appreciate that you watched the channel, you reached out, and you shipped this from Costa Rica out to New Mexico. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, that really means a lot to me, and I'm very grateful, folks. But, yeah, this coffee at 10,100 feet in the mountains, fall is definitely in the air, and, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. All right, there's a nice close-up of breakfast, a carnavada, cheese, and a tortilla, and I'm going to enjoy it to this view right here. Nice panoramic view. Mm. All right, guys, camp is all broke down. I walked around, picked up what trash that I did find. Not mine, it's left by somebody else. This isn't a heavily used area. But I did find little bits of trash. I picked it up, put it in there with mine. It's simple. Pack it in, pack it out. It's not hard at all. We take it with us up here. Why not take it out? It makes our national forest or our BLM lands cleaner or wherever you're camping. It just leaves it cleaner. And, you know, trust me, the next person to utilize this area is going to thank you, the person that picked this up. They're not going to know who you are. But they're going to be thankful that they came to a clean camp spot. So, yeah, did my deed and picked it up. So, not hard, guys. This is the trash that I generated and picked up. No, it doesn't look like a whole lot. But what I do is 
I unpack everything at home so that way I'm minimizing trash out here anything that could break down and be squashed I squash it so that way it becomes this nice tiny bag and so mainly what I found around here were bottle caps from beers so that's what's in here I did find a can it's crushed along with my cans and so it's gonna fit in there uh, on top of my gearbox so yeah guys it's so easy it really did not take that much time it took time finding other people's trash and it did collecting my own just because people throw things that's nonsense but yeah let's get out of here guys Such a beautiful and rugged mountain, man. The topography up here is just insane. It's one of those places that you really have to come out here and experience it for yourself to truly understand, you know, the diversity within just this specific mountain range. You know, you got jagged drop-offs, you got, you know, meadows you got peaks you got deep canyons and you know you got washouts that are visible from heavy rainstorms that have come through here and it's just a reminder that you know <laughs> treat mountains with respect because they don't have any remorse for you you know you got to have sympathy for the mountain and what i mean by that is you know practice good uh ethics out here and you'll come back to appreciate this landscape over and over and over it's those folks who don't treat the mountain with respect that end up getting hurt or killed or something like that and i know here in new mexico you know it happens every year where there's loss of life just because they underestimate conditions in the mountains you know i've seen where People have traveled up into higher elevations, the valley's hot, they get up there and they become hypothermic just because temperatures could fluctuate, you know, by 30 degrees or more. And so, yeah, folks, it's just good to fully understand what you're getting yourself into because mountains are so much different than the valley floors. What an awesome overnight camping trip up there at the top of Magdalena Mountains. If you're watching this video and you're new to this channel, I would like to encourage you guys to subscribe. I also want to thank my existing subscribers for all your support and your interactions with me. Until the next one, guys, you guys take care of yourselves. I'm out.